Hi. Hi. <laughs> What happened, Danny? There's like a blizzard out there. Oh, out there? Yeah, and we have no power, and it's very cold. We're gonna have to eat the doves, I'm sorry. We're not eating the doves. Right. Who would you eat if you had to choose? Niffler, jeez. Like, <laughs> he's so padded. I've pretty much lost all the color in my face and my lips because it is rather cold and our power is out. So we have to conserve as much heat as we have. Let me show you what it looks like outside. This is ice. Look at this. Ah! Okay, I'm coming back. Look at our door. Oh my God, the door. I didn't even notice our door. Okay. Ah! Unbelievable, guys. It is, uh, God, I don't, in fact, really, no, I think it's about 7.30 p.m. on the 2nd of March, and we had this snow bomb blizzard come through, so luckily we have a good supply of these survival cookies. We have zero electricity now, um, so we can't even cook anything. Um, all the animals are hiding away, so I don't know if you can see him, but Grinchy is tucked up in his, in his bed over here. This is what we have right now. We have tea lights, that's a fake candle, which is like an LED type thing. And then we've got a real candle up there, which is nice and scented. And then a couple more little lights down here, a light over there. It was a dark and stormy night. Huh? I said that's obnoxious. You called me obnoxious? I said that's obnoxious. You're calling me obnoxious by default. I'm getting cabin fever, Danny. You can tell. Oh, good lord, help us. <laughs> hey guys, um, it is the next day. Um, I forget the actual day. I feel like I'm coming down with a flu. It is freezing in here. Um, let me show you outside. Actually, no, let me not open the door because I'll let the cold in, but it's very cold. Um, ferrets are fine, doves are fine. We've had to collect up the reptiles and they're all in these um, these boxes down here. That's the crab. And then they have these uh, heat packs. We've bought over $100 worth of heat packs. Um, so they're in here. And then we have some of the snakes in there. So that is Car just in here. And um, this one over here is Clifford. It's quite nice and warm. Down at the bottom there, they've got some um, heat pads and whatnot down in there. We literally woke up this morning to even colder and uh, we went outside and we tried to go and get some food supplies but the uh, roads are still shut, the sheriff won't let us through so we have to wait a couple more hours before we can go and get anything. I know I look horrendous but apologies for that. And we have the kids tonight so you know we want to try and keep them warm, trying to keep the animals warm. Um, most of the animals I'm not too worried about. I'm very worried about Grinchy because Grinchy stopped eating and he's such a sensitive bird and there's no way to heat the house. Um, the backup generator we have has, has packed in, so at the moment we have no electricity, no water, no heat source for any of the animals. It is colder somehow in the house than it is outside the house. And if things stay like this, we're gonna take as many animals and split up, and Danny will take the animals to uh, somewhere that has electricity, and I'll stay behind and look after the animals here, which you know what can't get left unattended so he'll take the kids and go somewhere else and i'll stay here with the animals and it's just a nightmare we literally like walked a couple of miles down to go and see how bad the damage is nobody in like a two mile radius has any electricity not even the stores and we were trying to take our thermoses um our thermos uh, canister to go and see if we could get someone to give us hot water nobody has hot water and like i said we can't take the car out um so yeah, that's been a fun day. Um, there's a blanket over Grinchy's enclosure because that keeps the draft out because we li live in a very old house and it's very drafty in this house when it's cold. Of course, the uh, doves are doing just fine. They're up here and they're, they're chilling. Hey guys, they're absolutely fine. They're just getting over the fact that they've lost both their eggs because um, the other egg they had was, was infertile. So I had to pull that out. Um, but yes, they, they're going to be trying again for eggs very soon. And then the ferrets are somewhere in there, probably at the bottom, but they've got piled high with food and water um, to help them generate more energy. And I think they're in there somewhere. Oh yes, I can see the back of, I think, Niffler over there. So that's where we're at right now. So a lot of fun. This is what we've had to do with the aquarium is get these and stick them around 
trying to heat the water. Of course, it's not going to work too well, but that is literally all we have. And um, we have no emergency backup generators because they failed and everybody else has got need to use their own. So all of our neighbors are using their generators. The power just came on. It's Sunday and um, we've had a couple of casualties, which I'll come on to in a little while, but thankfully that's the worst of it done and we're just getting the house back up to heat now um just wanted to give you that status update i don't know if i'm gonna have a video out today there's still so much we have to do and fix and head count and make sure that everyone's okay and if anybody needs any veterinary care then we have to go and do that um but thank goodness the power came back on like i can't even talk about what last night was like right now i'll have to come back onto that but i'm sure you're all wondering about car car's in this bag she's been sleeping with me the last couple of days she's been in that bag now for two days and uh, oh wait no not two days like a day it seems like longer since yesterday morning she's been in this bag and she hasn't like left my tummy area so she's nice and warm He's biting. <laughs> Wouldn't you? You've been in a sock for several days. I'm so mad at the sock. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Niv. Well, I wasn't worried about you for the smallest amount of time. Hello. Did you miss me? Where's your little sister? Dobby? Dobby? Did you eat your little sister? All oh, my little weasels. Did you just sleep the whole time? I think you did. <laughs> Hello, Niv. How are you doing for hydration? Go on, we'll cuddle later. Go drink water. Nope. <laughs> Cuddles then. Here you go. <laughs> okay, last week was literally one of the most stressful weeks of my life. I've never been in New Jersey for one of the snowstorms, like the one that we had a couple of days ago. And basically what happened is a tree came down and literally snapped the uh, electricity lines literally in half, not not just the wires, the actual pole snapped and then the wires snapped. In these sort of circumstances, we have friends who are always happy to take our animals um, and look after them and heat them, but they closed our road. We physically could not even drive out of our road because they wouldn't let us. There were literally trees everywhere. Like every single hotel for the foreseeable distance um, was completely uh, completely booked up everybody had the same idea because nobody had power so that night it was literally 
the kids all piled on one couch and then I had my snakes, like the smaller snakes, down my shirt um, in pillow bags so that I could keep them warm. That night, because we had a heater, Danny had to literally sit in the living room with the kids who were all like, that was the one room that we made the warm room. So we moved all the animals in there, all the kids, you know, they usually get split off into different bedrooms, but all of them were in one room. So Danny stayed up all night literally in that room because obviously if you're burning a heater that you don't normally burn, you don't want to leave it unattended. And we never ever fall asleep with any heater going in the house not even the central heating just because it's a fire hazard so he literally sat in the room to like physically watch the heater so at three in the morning like i switched with him went to watch the kids make sure that they didn't get too cold he had to get in the truck like force the truck out through into the storm and every single place he went to look for um diesel so like gas to to burn on the gen to run the generator off of um they were all sold out People from Pennsylvania, literally from miles and miles and miles away, were pouring into New Jersey trying to get themselves some some diesel or some uh, some gas for their 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 homes, their cars. Eventually, we got the power back, but not before we had some casualties and. It's a miracle, honestly. It's it's hand on heart. It's a miracle with the amount of animals that we have. You know, it's a manageable amount for us, but not when the power goes out for that long um, and not when you can't get them somewhere that's the issue when you can't get them somewhere it becomes an issue so you know we the casualties we had um, were two cardinal tetra um, a bumblebee goby and what was the other oh, and uh, a couple of pea puffer fish they didn't make it unfortunately now today we woke up after everything and let me just show you what we woke up to Again, just again, lovely. So as it stands, today we have another big snow blizzard. If anybody lives anywhere where you get regular power outages, you must have an action plan um, for your animals. Obviously you are responsible for them and I, I take responsibility for the Cardinal Tetra, the Pea Puffer and the uh, Bumblebee Gobi not making it. Like there was honestly nothing more that we could do. We physically couldn't leave the house but if you can, if you can get your animals somewhere where they can get heat, definitely try doing that. Hey guys, um, it's Thursday evening and uh, I'm just here at home with Grinchy and Presto and Voodoo. Um, Grinchy has been having a great time with these two. The great thing about turtle doves is they're actually too unintelligent to really fear that many things. Um, so with Grinchy, they do not mind Grinchy. Um, they just do their thing as you can see. And they have um, some of their seed down here which, you know, sort of falls into this cat scratching post that I bought for uh, a really low price um, at a chain pet store. Um, so these seeds, sorry I'm really distracted by Grinchy cleaning his beak up there and the uh, courtship dance here, but these seeds they fall down into these crevices and um, then these two can take their time foraging and, and having fun picking them out of there. But Grinchy's really very happy to share his space with Presto and Voodoo. Um, as I mentioned in another video, um, Presto and Voodoo actually cracked one of their eggs and the other one was infertile, so we removed it. And uh, there, was, there was no life in the egg, so we just discarded it so that these two can start again. Um, and I have had people ask what I'm going to do with the eggs um, if they hatch. And honestly, with the first two offspring, um, we're going to be keeping them and they're going to become show birds and these two are gonna be retired and they'll stay here for the duration of their lifetime. Um, but any subsequent eggs that they produce, we're going to just feed them off to our monitor lizards um, or to our tegu because he would absolutely love to eat those. Um, I know that it's kind of sad for some people to think about, you know, um, eggs, you know, being, given to other animals to eat, but that's honestly just one of those things and I don't want to get overrun with uh, doves and the fact is that when you purchase young doves you can't really tell if they're going to be males or females. I actually really wanted to have a pair of males, um, but it turns out we had a male and a female. So eggs are just going to be one of those things, fertile eggs rather, although honestly if you have females they're going to lay eggs regardless um, and those, if that happened and I had two females then I would definitely still feed off those eggs. But yes, yeah, so if we can have one or two healthy offspring um, then we'll keep those to be some of our show birds for education um, and uh, if not then the eggs will just be used for food for the other animals. 
did you say something? <laughs> did you say something? I'm sorry guys, Daddy's a bit hyper tonight. There you go. Thank you. Go let's go up. back to <laughs> let's go back to Grinchy. Hey, Danny. Yeah. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't want to do that. Come let's, on, let's go and play. Snowmen are boring. We'll make we'll make snow animals. Okay, snow animals. I'm down. Okay. Snow boots were a bad idea. The snow boots are ineffective. Day twenty-seven. Ready to eat nifter. Hey, okay. I'm going to romp. Oh. In this beautiful wonderland. Okay, I'm coming. Do you think I need do I need longer boots, Danny? I think I might do. You give me cold. Booger check. Okay. What we're gonna do, we are going to build snowmen. Shh. And not just any snowmen. Animal snowmen. Snow animals. Snow animals. Snap, snap. Snow animals. Hashtag Snanimal. Snanimal. So, I'm not going to tell you who, what or who I'm building, and you don't tell me who or what you're building, and we have to guess afterwards. So it could be any animal? Yeah, any. Living no. or dead? Are you going to do a thylacine? <laughs> Why do you have to assume? Because <laughs> I know you love thylacine. Gloves are you are peeing? Off. That's not me. Oh, it's a crow. Never, Never ever drink, lick, yellow lick yellow snow. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Right. I'll do right line here, you do yours there. This is the line. There. Hey, don't look. I'm not looking, okay? okay. Oh no. Yes, I'm gonna build a snow. Okay, bye. It's kind of cold. It is my baby, but you love me, and that love makes me feel warm. Tip about me. I love you too. But I don't think I'm sick. Yeah. I think we are about there. How do you think that you did today? I have rocked it as I would do. All right. Ready? Yep. Ready. Ta -da! Guess what it is? It is Woody Woodpecker. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Woody Woodpecker. It's cook, although it does have a little bit of a Woody Woodpecker meets The Shining vibe. But, um, <laughs> it, it's meant to be cook, and we have the the very specific kookaburra bill. We have the wings in the ever attack mode. And I kind of had a little bit of artistic interpretation with the talons, but it was all I could do with the materials that I was working with. So we have to deal with the fact that this is my snow cook. Snow cook. Snow cook. Do you know what? To be fair, I, I think it's a really, really great effort for a beginner. Beginner? Yes, I do. I think it's a. Oh, actually, yes. I this can... is pro. I got a tail. This is three dimensional and a perch. Do you know what? I have to say, from this side, it looks a lot better because yeah. I can see the ruffle on the head. No, as no, well. it's got like the little crest, like that, like whole I'm going to be a jerk crest. I noticed that the wings are not symmetrical because they denote action. Like, this is probably about to jump off to the left a little bit. Like, you know, when you do that, like. Wait, 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 do, do the action move again. He's like, wait, he's like, like action, like, like he's like, 
Nice. <laughs> your hips and the hips. You see, his hips are loose. His hips are ready. Right? Show us your loose, hips. ready hips, so he's Danny. Got, he's got like the loose hips, right? I'm on to know, you know, my hips don't lie. <laughs> But they have like the swivel action, and that's what makes the cuckoo bird different from other birds. It's got the swivel action hip, right? And so <laughs> that's not really true. It's, it's from Latin influence. So wait, wait. So I, I want you to add a little bit of an accent, and so you found. Now describe the piece that yeah. you found because we want to understand the accent and what it means. Okay. Well, this accent over here that I'm going to be using is actually some of the millet spray that I left out for the birds here, which denotes survival. Um, so I'm actually going to be poetically placing this on the kookaburra's head as part of his feathery crest. Um, and it's quite ironic really because kook would love to eat all of the birds which s depend on this uh, millet spray for survival. So it's like an anglerfish adaptation that kook has developed in the snow. <laughs> exactly. Here, let me put it right up here. Get crazy There. Man. Perfect. Look at him. He's so proud and majestic. Okay. So. Let's go this way. Dun 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 dun. Are you ready to unveil? You didn't do an unveiling dance. <laughs> That's uh, it's a really like a complex unveiling. I'm a complex woman, Danny. I'm a complex woman, Danny. I'm a complex woman, Danny. I bring to you the slightly anatomically um, exaggerated. Niffler and uh, as you can see he's quite rotund which I can show you down here if you come this way down You can actually see um, over here. I have shown his little poochie belly or you can see he has his nose um, I would make it pink, but my lipstick won't come off my lips um, And he's actually opening his mouth because it's when I've caught him stealing treats and I go Niff and he goes so yeah, that's what Niffler's doing and then because he loves food and treats so much and it's always the apple of his eyes I thought I would literally make them his eyes and he has treats here in his eyeballs um, Which is normally what you'd see with Niffler as well and I think overall it's quite a poetic piece I feel it's a little inaccurate in a way. Can I add something to it like my yes. own customization? Yes, of course Sorry, I'm fine. Okay. Danny, I need help. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. My bum is cold. Help, <laughs> help, help. <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah, that was my knee. Sorry. I think that we have to appreciate that there are certain moments in the artistic world which we're not ready for. And I think this is one of them today. And I think I, I want to share with you, Em, and I, I want to, to build upon what you've created because it's, it's so beautiful. And Thank really, you. It brings, it chokes me up. It brings it brings a tear to my eye, and I love yeah. it. I, I just want to make it a little more special. I have a plan. Oh no! <laughs> no, I can see where the no, Danny. People aren't ready for this. No, it's okay. This no, it's good. not, it's hard. Danny. Wait. You're lucky this is on private property. You could get arrested for that kind of nudity. Oh no! <gasps> now it's an angora and it's so much more i'm sorry that's really gross isn't it? it's i i, I thought that you were going with something you snorted <laughs> but it's good now and customize no. it's people pay a lot of money for this kind of art yeah. it looks good i like oh, it oh niffle i'm so sorry <laughs> baby i stand by it it's good it's art okay sorry we can cover it up. We can just, like, no, 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 it's like, fine. No, like, no, I don't want him. He doesn't need a pubic hair hat. Oh, look, he takes it off. No, no, you're ruining no, the No, I'm, I'm, combing, I'm combing his hair. You're ruining my sculpture. No, it I'm, was smooth. I, I'm, look, I'm, yours is all rough. Mine's smooth. You look, no hair. Well, Hold I'm, my glove. <laughs> the birds can use it for nesting material. Oh, God, poor Oh, you're going to have hair in your glove. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ate one. <laughs> You okay? I ate a hair. That serves you right too. Poor Niff. Oh, now I wish I did something worse. To, you know what? Here. <laughs> no! No, Take no, this. no, 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 no. Me. 
come on. I worked so hard on it. <laughs> the neighbors are calling the cops. Baby, just because he's a boy. No. He's innocent. Not anymore. You're taking away his innocence. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I'm the winner, no. personally. Look at my creative genius. How can you possibly say it? That's not that. creative genius. That's just, you're disgusting. I, I love you for it. I do. But you, you're gross. I also love you for that too. Okay, it's fine. I, I won't use my body hair anymore <laughs> when we work on things together. Because I know that it's disgusting and offensive to you. Hello darkness, my friend. If you would like some of my body hair on your art projects, let me know. <laughs> Reach out to Emzotic, care of exhibit body hair. <laughs> okay, whose sculpture did you prefer most? Um, who do you think is the winner? And um, feel free to comment in the comment section down below who you think is the winner. No, I'm the winner, you're the wiener. Let's see if I share my body hair with you again. <laughs> Thank you all guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in another vlog soon. Bye! No! No! Daddy! No! Uh, I'm yeah. uh, back in a hole. Uh, my butt made a big hole. No. Oh, did you fall? Oh, sorry! Oh. <laughs> okay, baby. Let me help you out. Come here. It's okay. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, baby. Oh, I feel bad for that. Subscribe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>